Hi, welcome to Big Ted's Home and Garden. In this video we're going to be looking at the Doka pole 24 foot aluminium extension pole and some of the attachments that you can use with the pole. There are a wide range of attachments um, but the ones we've got here today are the, the microfiber window cleaner with squeegee, the soft bristle brush and over here we've got a large duster. Fully extended pole reaches a height of 24 feet as you can see it's gonna be plenty big enough to do anything on my bungalow the pole is made from aluminium so it's strong but lightweight down towards the base of the pole we've got a soft rubber grip which makes the pole easier to handle and also gives you a bit of thermal insulation in the winter when it gets quite cold there's a harder rubberized base which will be abrasion resistant and non-slip. The mechanism for extending the pole is quite straightforward. You just lift one of these levers and then slide the aluminium out and then lock it back into place. One of the nice features of this pole is because it's made of aluminium it's very robust. Uh, this includes a threaded end here so this should last for years. The attachments all screw onto this fit in here. It's very simple to do. Just take the brush. There we go. To show you the pole in action, today I'm going to be using it to clean these um, rather dirty fascia board soffits and guttering. To clean the fascias and soffits, I've found the best um, attachment to use is a soft bristle brush with soapy water. A well, big advantage of using the extension pole is that you can do everything from ground level so there's no messing about with ladders. So it's much much safer. All we do. Okay, so to get rid of the drips, I've changed the attachment to the microfiber head now. And across there. And there. Right, just got the rest of the house to do now. One task that the Doka poles particularly useful for is cleaning first story windows. So we've fitted the microfiber and cleaning head onto the pole here and I'm going to give the windows a good rub down and then once they're done I can then flip over to the squeegee side and then squeegee the windows so get rid of them, any streaks. And as you can see, it did a pretty good job. One area, however, where I had much less success was um, when using the pole at an angle, in this case, across the uh, ground floor extension. Um, you can see from this video that the weight of the head was causing the pole to bend quite considerably. It was quite difficult to use. Um, so I ended up having to pivot the pole onto the roof of the um, extension and even then the finish was nowhere near as good so this might be something that you might want to consider if you've got windows such as this now I'm sure I'll get better with practice but there's nothing I can do about the fact that the aluminium is simply not stiff enough to be used like this without bending so to conclude if you can get directly underneath whatever it is you want to clean, this thing's great. It's well made, you can buy a range of attachments to suit whichever job you want to do. The extension mechanism's good. And because you can do everything from ground level, it's a lot safer than getting up on ladders. Or cheaper than paying for a window cleaner. 
So would I recommend it? It's a qualified yes. It depends on what you want to use it for. So I hope you found this useful. If you have, please leave a thumbs up. If you've got any questions at all, leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to Big Ted's Home and Garden. We'll see you soon.